comes in all shapes and sizes. But whether you're gay, straight, bi, or trans, ugly is ugly. Beauty is synonymous with fame, with several mind-boggling exceptions. While most celebrities are ugly on the inside, here are 15 of the ugliest, luckiest celebrities allowed to be photographed in public. Donatella Versace Let's all be thankful her designs are better looking than she is, otherwise she would not have made this list. From her extra toothy smile to the horse-like face and unfortunate complexion, Donatella does not have the ability to check any boxes on the beauty checklist. She makes the beautiful dresses, however, it is a real shame they cannot make her. Lady Gaga She may be a number one on the chart stopper, but that's got way more to do with the music than the looks, and this list has nothing to do with music. Regardless, she does not seem bothered and works with what she's got, and clearly, it's working. Having a poker face must be inspiring for Lady Gaga, and that's a good thing. David Schwimmer Ross from Friends needs all the support his friends can offer after having to sport a face like his. His vague and horse-like features certainly helped create the nerdy lovelorn loser who was Ross. To the relief of a vast number of television and movie-going audiences, Schwimmer has taken his artistic talents behind the camera in recent years. Mick Jagger The Rolling Stones frontman has been laid more times than any ugly man should ever be allowed, but, he's the voice of a generation. Even by rock and roll standards Jagger is ugly, and he looks a lot like Lily Tomlin's twin brother, if she had one. While some men seem to look better with age, Mick Jagger has always been ugly. At least he's consistent. To worry spelling. Although her blonde hair remains and her face hasn't changed much, that's just about all we recognize from Pill Rise days on 90,210. She started going under the knife a long time ago and it's a bit surprising that her natural facial features have lasted this long. We hope she stops at the chest because she is pretty enough. Jocelyn Wildenstein Holy crap! This is what happens when you get obsessed with plastic surgery. Wildenstein is a wealthy socialite living in New York City. Holding the dubious honor of being named the Lion Woman of New York, it is rumored her face and brow lifts, chin redesign, cheek implants, as well as eyelid surgery on both top and lower lids have given her a cat-like and creepy appearance. Sarah Jessica Parker so ugly she's hot, SJP's mug graced HBO's Sex and the City and two movies based on the show, which were also downright ugly. It's clear she has talent, because she has a face that belongs on the radio or a farm with horses. It certainly makes one wonder how Carrie Bradshaw found all the experience to write all that sexual content, Pete Burns. Lead singer for the 80s band Dead or Alive, and best known for their hit You Spin Me Round. Burns has stated that he will continue having plastic surgery despite a botched nose job that left him unable to even wear sunglasses evenly. Burns insists he is not addicted to plastic surgery, claiming it is as casual as buying a new sofa every few years. Adrian Brody His bird-like and bony features, combined with that hooked nose don't make it easy for any photographer or camera lens from any angle. So what Hollywood is truly the most shallow place on earth. Winning an Oscar still holds some weight in this hot or not world. Casting directors have his agent on speed dial for ugly characters. The awkward stage was not just a phase for Miley Cyrus. This one-time mega Disney star got a pass as an adolescent for being ugly thanks to the millions of fans Sir Hannah Montana alter ego created for her, but it's been downhill ever since. Her scantily clad working antics are just a distraction from her lack of beauty, Seth Rogen. Put the green hornet mask back on, even if the movie was a box office flop. Rojan puts the funny in funny looking, but no one is laughing. His aloof and awkward characters often make his ugliness a necessity, certainly on screen, at least. There are very few people in this world who have it all. Seth is not one of them. Michael Jackson. Seriously, what the hell happened to this guy? Isn't plastic surgery supposed to make things bigger and better? While it is believed his awful complexion is the result of a poor skin condition, Jackson did himself no favors with nose and chin jobs which turned him into a frightening caricature. It's pretty clear that the king of pop did not know when to stop. Lara Flynn Boyle We adored her as Stacey in Wayne's World. Her girl next door looks were complimented by her adorable freckles and sweet smile. Although we may not know why she hated her freckles enough to have them completely removed, we do know that she has had Botox in most of her face. Her lips are noticeably larger and her eyes might even be a different shape. 
Joan Van Ark. One of the beauties from television show Knots Landing, Joan Van Ark was one of the most beautiful women gracing the small screen in the 80s and early 90s. She played Valerie Ewing on the spin-off from the hit series Dallas, and it would appear as though she chased the glamorous life of her character to a frighteningly unhealthy extent. Rosie O'Donnell With an attitude as ugly as the rest of her, O'Donnell is as unapologetic when it comes to her looks as she is with her actions. Her gender-bending antics include wearing men's sport coats which oddly enough complement her jowls and manly facial features. It doesn't help that she looks to be as tall as she is wide. Nicolas Cage If his track record for brutal results at the box office don't turn you off, the rest of him will. Sure, he can play the everyman character, as long as he plays it every time. As a dashing leading man Cage is painfully under-equipped, making his acting as ugly as his face. Nick, please stop making movies. Rachel Dratch Yes, she is hilarious, but the accolades stop there for Rachel Dratch. Simply put, she just is not attractive. At all. Her Saturday Night Live characters were often creepy and hobbit-like, a dubious honor for such a talented actor. Halloween means one day at the end of October for most of us. Unfortunately, it is every day for Rachel Dratch. Kyra Sedgwick with a likeness closer to an old-time wooden puppet than a movie star, the star of The Closer has pulled off the ultimate two by marrying super hunk Kevin Bacon. How it is they are still married is beyond comprehension, so her talent must go far beyond the ones displayed for the camera wing. If ugly is the new sexy, Sedgwick is probably the first woman who figured it out, Mickey Rourke. Once hailed as one of the best-looking men in Hollywood, Mickey's surgeries were in fact medically necessary. That doesn't change the fact that the doctor must have had a picture of a different man while performing those surgeries. Although we are glad that he is back in the spotlight, we wonder how much of it is due to his strange-looking face. Lindsay Lohan She's had more appearances in court than on the silver screen of late, with some brutal mugshots to prove it. This former teen and chick flick sweetheart is now a so-called bad girl, and her partying ways have led the casual viewer to believe she is in her mid-30s, probably not something an actress in her mid-20s would want to hear.